hey pretty tribe welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here welcome um get comfortable you know we are having a very heart to heart discussion um if you are coming back hi um i'm a little nervous today as y'all can see i don't know if y'all can tell but i'm just trying to shake the jitters off but <laughs> if you like this video make sure you leave me some comments to let me know what you learned from it what you like what you didn't like um don't forget to like comments and subscribe so today we are getting into um the biggest life change that i've had or the biggest uh, milestone in my life so far or just lately um <laughs> I moved. I moved from South Florida, my beloved city, county, and state, Deerfield Beach, Florida, which is in Broad County, if you don't know. So, um, yeah, you guys, I moved from Broward County, and I am now a resident of Atlanta, Georgia, bitch. Peace up, A-Town down. Yeah, so... I have been trying to make it to Atlanta since I graduated college in 2021. I graduated from Florida State University, class of 2021. And um, my initial plan was to just move straight here, but I was so scared. I did not have a job here. I did not have money saved up. I did not have um, an ideal person in mind to live with. So I just said, screw it, I'm going to go home, I'm just going to figure my life out, and hopefully I can transition from there. Y'all going to have to excuse um, Turbo. He is a miniature pincher, he is such a sweetheart, but he's a little obsessed with me. So, <laughs> that's my baby, y'all. But, um, yeah, so uh, I went home, and, you know, I said I was going to stay there for a while, I was going to figure out my life. I was going to continue to do makeup, continue to model, and just, you know, find my footing there. And maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to get enough money to save up and move to Atlanta. Well, y'all, that was so funny. And just thinking back on it is even funnier because it did not work out like that, still even. So I spent about two years at home because it is March 2023 and I came home July 2021. So about two years almost. Um, I was working dead end jobs, y'all. The girls don't know this, but I was working dead end jobs. When I first got back home, my first job out the gate, I was getting paid $10 an hour, 10. Um, it was not enough. It only paid my car note. It did not cover my car insurance, my credit card bill. Um, <laughs> it didn't cover anything. I couldn't get my damn hair done with that. So I kept working that job for about maybe five, six months. Um, I continued doing makeup. And yes, I made more money doing makeup than I did working that job. And um, I worked at a school though. I was an aftercare specialist. I absolutely loved it. The only thing that kept me there was the children. I love kids. Um, they are a instrument from God to teach us so many different lessons. And I'm so thankful that I was able to cross those paths with those children. I did get that job through my cousin. Shout out to her. Um, she helped me get that job because she was a manager or something at the school. So it was a no-brainer. I got straight in. And yeah, so bottom line, that job, it wasn't paying anything. But I was very thankful for it. I crossed paths with some amazing people, um, people that I could hit up to this very day and, you know, reach out to them if I needed something. But um, yeah, so after that job, I worked um, at Pinecrest school so if you're from Broward you know Pinecrest school it is a private school um I was working in the HR department and um I got that job through a um like a a 
an employment agency so it wasn't necessarily straight through the school it was through an agency so i got the job through the agency that plugged me in at the school so i got paid through the agency it wasn't through pinecrest but um get that job it paid me seventeen dollars an hour and although it was seven dollars more that i was getting paid i still was not working enough to where i got a paycheck that was at least a thousand dollars um i worked probably like 20 hours a week and not because oh i didn't want to or i felt like i was too good and i didn't want to y'all i was still trying to chase a dream so throughout the time that i was home i never stopped chasing my dreams i still didn't make up i still modeled throughout that whole time i let every employer know i wasn't trying to stay there permanently permanently and it was only going to be temporary i let them know my dreams and my aspirations they supported me they did not um fire me or turn me away just because of the lifestyle that i was living and the the dreams that i was chasing they understood it they sympathized with me they worked with me because not only was i you know, a very, very good worker, but I showed up on time. I was very attentive. I wasn't always on my phone. I did my job and I did the hell out of it. And if you know me, you know my work ethic and how much passion I put into everything I do. Because once again, that job was at a school, so I did run into children, but I was working in the HR department, so I wasn't always with the children, but the people that I worked with, they were very, very um, down to earth people. Um, they wished me well in all my future endeavors. They were very patient with me and, you know, they taught me through some, I mean, talked to me through some things. I discovered how bad I had anxiety while I was at that job. And one of the um, people that worked in the department, she used to be a um, therapist before she was um, an HR uh, specialist. So uh, me and her, we still have a close connection to this day. So um, I thank God for the people that I cross paths with because they still have a piece in my puzzle even months and years down the line and uh, last but not least my third job that i worked while i was at home i worked as a um, administrative assistant for an elevator company and um i got that job through another family member of mine and i thank god for that one because that one really helped me push myself out of there <laughs> From day one, once I started, once again, I let them know it was temporary. I was not trying to work full time and they knew about what I was trying to do with my business and with my modeling and everything else. So, um, funny thing about that job, it wasn't very strict. Um, I was able to come and go as I please. I did not have a clock in time. I didn't have to clock in. All I had was a timesheet to write down the hours that I was there. And, um, you know, being that my character and my integrity is something that I hold very, very near and dear to my heart. I never cheated on my timesheet or made it seem like I was there for 10 hours when I was only there for six. Um, I was very honest with them and I think they um, they very, they cherished that a lot. And um, I never took them for granted because they were um, older or I don't want to say elderly, but they were older. They were like over 50, you know, over 55, you know, so they had a lot of health problems and things like that. But um, they turned into my second family. They were like, <laughs> they were like my extended white family. So, oh man, I went through so much at that job, y'all. Oh my God, it's, it's crazy sitting here and thinking about it because I had relationship drama going on. Um, my mental health was failing a little. Um, whew, I'm sorry. They really, they really helped me through a lot. I got through a lot there and, um, uh, Boy, I tell you, I wouldn't trade my experience for nothing in this world, okay? Okay, y'all, so like I was saying, yeah, I went through a lot of changes, um, a lot of adulting, a lot of growing up, a lot of maturing throughout the duration that I was at that job. And um, man, I did so much when I was there. I started um, selling my makeup brushes, while I was there, I did my first pop-up shop when I was there. I walked in um, uh, 
Miami Swim Week while I was there. It was just crazy because once I started working that job, so many amazing things started working out for me. And I'm just like, wow, they gave me the space to be myself. I was able to be creative while I was on the clock. I was working for them and working for myself, making my flyers, making my logo, whatever it is, excuse me, that I needed. Um, they just gave me that space, that space that I needed that I was not able to get in those other jobs because it was so demanding you know while you're there you have no other choice but to be doing whatever they need you to do you feel me so um yeah man so and that job paid me 21 dollars an hour so i still was not working whole 30 hour weeks so you do the math my check only hit a thousand dollars one time one time y'all one time so i'm saying all this to let y'all know like it wasn't about the money you feel me like thank god you know i'm a i'm a kind of you know i'm a trendy kind of girl like i can figure out things to do with my hair i know how to do my makeup i put my shit on how i want to you get what i'm saying so it wasn't looking like I was doing bad. I was just doing what I could, you know? Um, a lot of people, they put so much emphasis on how much a job is paying them and how much is a job is doing this and doing that. But to be completely honest with you, while I was working my jobs and on top of that, doing makeup and taking other acting gigs, I was in music videos and all these other things, I was using that money to still invest back into my business and not just my makeup business it was for other things i may have to go get an outfit for a music video because i didn't have the clothes in my closet you get what i'm saying or i would have to pay a bill and shit i gotta sit out going out of town this weekend you get what i'm saying like i sacrificed a lot to get where i am right now um and I just wanted to share that with y'all because I just feel like it's so many young women out here who feel like they have to go and have sex for the thing that they want. They got to use a nigga for the things that they want. They have to keep up with a certain, um, I don't know, a certain kind of uh, image to be accepted in places and to feel like they are part of something or a part of a social group when in actuality if you have to try that hard and damn near sell your soul really because that's in hindsight what you're doing if you feel like you have to do all of that you don't need to be in the in the places in the spaces that you're in honey you don't because it shouldn't it shouldn't take all that and the, the real people that you that you find yourself actually saying like, damn, these are my people, you'll realize it's not that hard to stick around. They don't judge you by what you look like, how much money you have and what you do and don't, you know, give to them or whatever, what you're able to provide them with. Because at the end of the day, if everything is always so transactional, everything is always so, what can you do for me? you know, it's not genuine. It's not genuine. But that's a whole nother conversation for another time. But let's fast forward to where I am right now. So I live in East Atlanta right now. Um, I literally just posted on my business page yesterday that I am accepting makeup appointments. Um, I'm, I feel like I finally got my head on straight all my emotions that I was feeling, all the anxiousness and being afraid and guilt and shame, all that shit out the door right now. You feel me? Um, I came here on a mission. My mission is to follow my dreams and help as many people get to theirs as I possibly can while I'm in the midst of getting mine. Um, I feel like God has put me in this position to teach a lot of people the lessons that I went through so they won't have to go through them. Um, I know I have a lot of influence on younger people. Once again, like I said, I love children, teenagers, especially they gravitate towards me. So I try to do everything I do with purpose and, um, 
with a level of uh what's the word i'm looking for with with the level of uh i don't know hey what i'm trying to say y'all is like do it that leaves somewhat of a good taste in people's mouth um i know that i'm an adult and i could do and say as i please but someone that answers to no one is a dangerous person but yeah so <laughs> yeah man so i moved here and um i am currently staying with a very very good friend so god surprisingly positioned me in a spot where i am loved i am accepted i am not judged and i am given the freedom to be who i am and continue to grow into the woman that i want to be so i'm very very thankful for that oh my gosh um i'm just my mind is blown let me just say that my mind is blown because it is so funny when you plan things out to a t and you feel like it's gonna go exactly how you plan and then god like funny girl let me show you what's really about to go down so <laughs> this was not a part of the plan but it was a part of his plan. So for that, I can't ask for anything more. I really can't. And y'all, I'm sorry, y'all gonna have to excuse me. I keep doing all this sniffling because this Atlanta weather has been taking me through the ringer, okay? When I got here, it was 30 degrees outside. I've only been here for a week and a half. Why is it like 70 degrees right now? My allergies is bad, damn it. And my immune system is as weak as a snail. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. But hey, I guess I got to get used to it. Because South Florida, it, it really wasn't no better. It's just that our cold probably stopped. It probably capped at like 50. So whatever. But <laughs> yeah, man. So here I am today. Um, just just blessed, highly favored, you feel me? Um, I'm ready to take Atlanta by storm, do everything that I set out to do from the moment I crossed that stage, July 31st, 2021. Sorry, July 30th, 2021. And um, I know that God has something amazing planned for me at the end of this road but i just want to thank him that i've made it finally um oh my god boy i'm telling y'all it's it's gonna be another video where i get into certain topics about what i really went through to get here but i just want y'all to know this okay it gets worse before it can get better so with that being said the main thing that you have to do before you get to where you want to go is remain faithful, remain confident, and really, really just be still, okay? Um, I know a lot of us, when things aren't going our way, we throw temper tantrums and we get mad at God and we give up on God and we just do whatever the hell we want to do without really caring but i'm telling you man you're gonna keep going in circles until you get to the spot that you were supposed to be 20 cycles ago okay um i could i could just i ain't gonna preach for y'all i ain't gonna preach today this is not that kind of word we could we could preach another day but i really just wanted to come on here and just like give y'all a life update um let y'all know you know like how life has been going and everything um so far so good um uh oh my god i totally forgot to tell y'all so my bad i just been talking but i forgot to mention that not only did i move to atlanta but the main thing that pushed me here is a runway competition so I am a contestant in the second annual Bergali Resort Runway Competition. And 
The winner of this competition gets a billboard campaign, a magazine spread, and you also get a um, contract with a modeling agency. And I don't know about y'all, because nowhere in there says cash prize, a video shoot with Lotto, but the experience that comes with it, uh, I kid you, I am so glad I made this decision because God forbid I don't win the competition, y'all. I am going to walk away with so many things. So far, it's only been three weeks in, and I'll, I'll tell you this, as talkative and social that I may seem, I'm really not that social. <laughs> I am very timid about starting conversations, walking up to people, introducing myself to people, letting them know who I am. I did not realize how weird I still am about those very things. And that is so simple because that's shit that I learned in college, right? You would think, but hey man, it's, it's not gonna do anything but make me a better model, a better entrepreneur, a better woman, a better person altogether. So I ain't tripping, you feel me? But yes, so the event is on April 6th and I will try to vlog the rest of the experience for you guys, but I've just been so focused. I haven't gotten a chance to really like vlog and do a lot of, you know, talking in the camera because I'm just, I'm trying to stay on my P's and Q's because baby, this competition is giving very much America's next top model. And baby, I ain't trying to take no L's. If anybody know me, y'all know how competitive I am. I am a competitive ass person. I don't like to lose. I don't like taking no L's. Anything I do, I go in full throttle and I'm coming out for the W and that's just how I am. So <laughs> y'all wish me luck. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this new journey in my life. I'm just so grateful and thankful for God placing me where I needed to be and where I wanted to be for so long. But one thing about God, he will not put you in places that you're not ready to be in. Because I thought I was ready, but I wasn't ready. I was not ready. So yeah, man. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have watched this far, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you like this video. Let me know what else you want from me. This is my first sit down chit chat with y'all. So you can look forward to some more of them. I'm ready to really just rip off this layer that I've held back for so long and really just show y'all who I am, what I do, what I'm about. And yeah, man. So see you guys next time. God bless. God